this alanine to valine mutation at position 82 in the Ebola virus glycoprotein that dominated the West African Ebola virus disease outbreak from 2013 to 2016, we found was more infectious than, than other Ebola uh, strains. And um, that, that variant had been identified uh, from sequencing that several groups had done in, during the course of the epidemic. Uh, these sequences were all published. Several groups had noted that this variant um, appeared early in the epidemic, maybe three months, four months into the epidemic, and that it completely supplanted, it completely over, overcame the original virus that started the first, that infected the first patients, the first people who were infected with Ebola. And that includes everybody in Sierra Leone and everyone in Liberia and everyone in Nigeria, Senegal, Mali, and even Texas, where uh, the, the virus traveled at one point, um, had this mutant Ebola um, strain. So it was known for a long time that there was this variant, but its significance uh, was unknown. And um, it's a very subtle change from, a, from the perspective of a biologist, a virologist. You, you would uh, easily uh, consider it insignificant. And uh, we, uh, in fact, by accident through, through studies related, more related to HIV than to Ebola, we just happened to test it and uh, find that it was indeed more infectious than the, the other Ebola strains or the parental virus that started the epidemic.